Okay, you guys, a really simple meal for today. I'm just doing an eggplant soup with a side of rice and roasted chicken in the oven. The spices for the chicken, I'm going to be adding lemon pepper, paprika, red chili peppers, cayenne pepper, lemon juice, salt, one package of Sazon, um, olive oil. I'm going to mix all of those together and season the chicken with it. For the eggplant soup, eggplant, pepper, this is sweet pepper, um, tomato, onion, um, parsley, cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can leave it out, and tomato paste. And then rice. I have three cups of basmati rice over here. Okay, so for the spices for the chicken, I have one tablespoon of lemon pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of crushed red peppers, one tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna add in a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. Also, a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And the package of Sazam. And I'm going to mix this and then pour it over the chicken. Okay, here's the chicken. I always put a little bit of water on the bottom of the pot of the chicken. And I'm going to cover it and put it in the oven at 400 for an hour and a half. Okay, time to chop up my stuff for the soup. I'm going to chop them up into big chunks. Um, I'm not going to peel the whole eggplant. I'm just going to do strips just like this. And I'm gonna chop it into big chunks and get this ready. I have already washed and I'm soaking my rice right here. Wash it pretty well until the water clears a little bit and then soak it. I have all my stuff chopped and ready to go i have um, two tablespoons of oil in a pot i added in the peppers and onions i'm going to saute this for a couple minutes just until the onions get a little color on them and then i'll add the rest of the ingredients okay next i'm going to be putting in the eggplant and the tomatoes and I'm going to be sauteing this for about three to four minutes as well okay here I have five cups of water and I'm dissolving this entire can of tomato paste in there spices for the soup i have one tablespoon of chicken flavoring chicken bouillon half a tablespoon of salt salt is to taste um, half a teaspoon of crushed red peppers half a teaspoon of black pepper they all go in and then the tomato paste water goes in as well I'm going to mix and cover this and let this boil for about 15 minutes until the soup gets thick. Before I turn it off, then I'm going to add the cilantro and parsley in there. Next, I'm doing the rice. I have drained the rice over here. I have two tablespoons of butter in my pot. I'm going to add about two tablespoons or three tablespoons of oil and I'm gonna let the butter melt. Okay, now that the butter has melted, I'm going to add the rice. I'm doing white rice. I'm gonna do the vermicelli on the side because my oldest son, he doesn't like vermicelli, so I always do it on the side. Whoever wants to put it on top of their rice, they can do it. 
So I'm gonna toast the rice for a couple minutes with one tablespoon of salt. Okay, after toasting the rice for a couple of minutes, now I'm going to add water. This is three and a half cups of hot water. And the stove is on high. I'm going to cover this and wait for the water to reduce down. Okay, so I've been letting the soup boil for about 15 minutes and the soup has gotten thicker. The eggplants are cooked because eggplants do cook really, really fast. Now I'm going to add the parsley and the cilantro. Mix and turn the stove off because it's done. Time to check on the rice. As you can see, the water has reduced down. I'm going to move it around just like this. Not too much. You don't want to break the grains. Cover it. And reduce the heat to really, really low. And leave this to cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna toast some vermicelli to go on top of the rice. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of oil in a skillet. Wait for that to get hot, then I'll add the vermicelli. There goes in the vermicelli. And I'm gonna keep moving it around because vermicelli does cook really, really fast. So keep moving it around just like this until all the vermicelli pieces are toasted. They're like red just like that. Don't leave it alone because if you do, they're going to burn. As you can see, they're all toasted. Now I'm going to add water. That was one cup of water. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of chicken flavoring and a sprinkle of black pepper. Black pepper is to taste. And I'm going to mix this. And wait for the water to reduce down. I'm not gonna cover it until all the water is gone. Then I'm gonna lower it and cover it. Okay, as you can see, all the water is gone. Now I'm going to lower the heat really low Co cover and let this cook for about five minutes okay time to check on the rice fluff it and it's ready okay you guys everything is done here's the rice here's the eggplant soup the chicken is out of the oven. Here's the vermicelli. And I also toasted some almonds to go on top.